When we have clients come in who have been injured in slip and fall or trip and fall cases, one of the things they first want to know is if they need to have a minimum amount of medical expenses incurred in order to justify a personal injury case. And while there are some cases that uh, have very significant injuries and minor medical expenses, uh, those are the exception and not the rule. Um, and when looking at a slip and fall or a tripping fall case, you have to have an injury that's pretty substantial to warrant pursuing one of those cases. The reason for that is because these types of cases are so fact and expert intensive, they're expensive and they're expensive to work up. And no one wants to spend their time going through a case where uh, the value of the injury is $15,000, but you have to spend $20,000 on the case and experts uh, to make that recovery. It's not worth anybody's time uh, to do that. So in order to pursue one of these cases, because of the expense, you generally need to have a situation where someone has a significant injury, such as a broken bone uh, or an injury requiring surgery in order to uh, justify uh, pursuing one of these cases. So if you have been injured in a slip and fall or trip and fall, it's a good idea to go ahead and immediately contact a personal injury lawyer who can help you uh, help you evaluate your case and make sure you understand what's necessary and, and evaluate whether you actually have a viable personal injury case for slip and fall or trip and fall. Um, if you have one of these situations and you'd like to speak, please give me a call. We're here to help.